your knowledge here. Today we are going to learn some easy and quick ways in which you could deploy a Node.js app. Let's go to github.com and create a new project. Keeping the details to a minimum for this example, with access type as public with MIT license, and .git ignore for Node.js project. Clone this project in your development environment, and open the project in code editor. Initialize this project using npm init command, set the basic details manually or keep it as default. Install express in our npm project using the save flag. Create two files index.js and app.js. In the app.js file, let us create our simple application using the express library with only one route that returns positive feedback. Now, export a function that starts the express server to listen to all incoming requests. We will import this function in our index.js file. Instead of keeping a single file for our app, it is better to use separate files. This makes it easier to test our express app. In this example, we will skip testing for now, which is a bad practice for real projects. Please note that deployment requires the start script to be defined in the package.json file. Our start script will simply call the node index.js command. Let's commit our changes and push the code to the remote repo. Let's start with the first easy way to deploy a Node.js app, using Heroku.com. If you do not have an account please create one before proceeding. In the terminal, we need to install Heroku CLI globally. Then type Heroku login and follow the process to complete authentication. Once that is done, let us create a Heroku app using the Heroku create command in the terminal. This command will create an app in your account and link the remote repo for that app to you get repository. To verify this let's type in git remote to list the remote repository connected. As you can see, there is the origin that points to the github repo, and then there is Heroku which points to the Heroku repository. Deploying to the Heroku app is as simple as pushing to the remote repo. So let us push using the command git push Heroku main. Please notice that instead of origin we use the Heroku repo in the command. This will take a few seconds to complete the deployment process, which includes, setting up the runtime, resolving dependencies, build, cleanup, compressing and then finally deploying. Congratulations, your app is deployed. To see this let's type, Heroku open command, this opens a browser tab and loads your app URL. It works. And now, the second service that provides an easy deployment is the cyclic.sh platform. At the time of this video recording, this service is relatively new and still in the developer preview phase. So a lot of features in this website is still being developed. For now, you can still use this for development purposes. Let's use the cyclic deployment API endpoint to deploy our app. The endpoint URL for deployment is app.cyclic.sh slash api slash app slash deploy followed by the repo path in github.com. In our case, it will be app.cyclic.sh slash api slash app slash deploy slash get your knowledge here slash simple deploy. This will deploy the app directly for the github repository. To do that it will require some permissions to access our code from the github repo. And you will be live in a few seconds. Click on the link to your app's URL. It works. Those were the two quick and easy ways to deploy your app to the server. Thanks for watching. Please like and share if you have learned from this video. Comment below your thoughts, questions and feedback. And also please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.